Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. Uh, time to go to the Rosemary, and time, uh, doing the Broken Flowers quest. Hopefully, I got some time tonight to record. Um, I can't go out and do a lot of the stuff, um, that I do on Friday nights with hanging out with friends and stuff. Okay, I don't want to fight you. Um, because of my foot and whatnot, I can't really get around and change location, so... Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not, not into doing stuff on Friday <laughs> that I used to be. Well, once my foot heals, I will, but, uh, yeah, so I got some time tonight. Let's see, it's, uh, 5.40 p.m. right now. Probably have until, like, 11.40 p.m., um, to be honest, uh, to record. At work tomorrow, but, uh, got some time to record. I don't know if I'm gonna spend it all on The Witcher 3 or if I'm going to play some other games, but that's not any of the concern right now. Lock. Huh. Let's see. Is this the front? Yes, this is the front. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. I wish I could have. Oh shit! They're only level five. Gotta get right. around him. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'll slide you. Come on! Give me back! You can't even. Ow. Okay, okay, I. Oh, reminds me of our days of war. Yeah, almost like we never left Berlin. Yeah, I told you to know. Why can't I parry his punch? <laughs> Bitch. All right, we're good. Almost died there. Out of uh, the please, that went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay, I know exactly where what I need is, which is nice. Uh, not that it was hard to find. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! 
It's his planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So, Che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. But you won't be next door. You're always right here. Wow, a freaking... Who keeps a ladle in a chest? This stupid thing is going to prevent me from looting stuff. That's great. There we go. Need to keep looting because of that reason to find alcohol. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry won themselves in the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught us right to yodel and I... Ugh, another time. I forget which one is the girl I need to talk to. I'll try to I'll take my best guess at it though. If I can, if I guess right, I'm just a champion. I'm just a freaking champion. See, it was really important for me to loot in here just simply because it's kind From of a the far finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Because From it's the like finest a vineyards, bar, every so, last one. you know. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. I'm a pop swallow, because I'm finding a bunch of alcohol. It will be no problem to, uh, to refill my swallow. And I need health, so. Come on, come on. There we go. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this playthrough. I feel like I'm gonna have no problem with some of the bosses. Um, I feel like my biggest issue are just the random enemies <laughs> throughout the game. I don't even think it's gonna be the bosses that give me the the issues. And I still haven't decided if I'm ending up with Triss or if I'm in, ending up with Yennefer. I'm gonna have to decide here soon. Ah, look at all this good stuff up here. Highly worth looting. What is over here? Nothing. I think there's a... I think there's another floor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Hold on. Now, how do I loot this stuff? Come on, girl, pull yourself up. No, what the hell, dude? Okay, guess we're going across. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Come on, Geralt. 
Come on, come on, no, stop with that shit. What the hell, dude? Damn it! There we go. I did that all for a stupid worn leather pelt. Son of a bitch. Alcohol. Give me up. Oh, it's locked. So you really can't go there until later on? Come on. Uh, Alright. Nothing, nothing amazing on floor three, but we did get a lot of alcohol, so that's always good. Let's go ahead and pop open uh, Dandelion's Planner. Check that out. Let's see here, make sure. Aha, so this is better. I need a freaking new silver sword, dude. The shit that we use for everything is freaking worth. But look at that alcohol. Look at all of that alcohol. Like, this is just great. This is just a great day. With all that alcohol. Um, what's opened up? Okay. I already... Is it, is it, is it Rose or is it Molly? It's not Vespula and it's not Mirabella. Huh. I'm gonna guess... We're gonna start with Rose of our... At her. I don't know if you have to go to all of them. Like, that's your only choice. Um, if one of these leads me back to them, actually, it's Molly. Molly is the one. Molly is the one where you leave. Um, I think I'll go for Molly first here. I'll win that saddle or whatever that guy wants to bet me to race. Let's see, nothing there. Oh. Really? Fire? Okay, that was a waste. What the hell was that? If, I could, if one of these leads me... Why are those guys like half naked? What the hell is this? Ah! If it leads me to that center square, I will buy some weapons. So I could use that. Could use this new silver sword. That would be nice. What the hell? Okay. I did not mean to jump on that. Alright. Let's talk to uh, this dude whose wife is the mother of some guy we killed in a previous game, I think. Hopefully I'll find that out when I play through The Witcher 2. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet and know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Wait, she comes with you this... Oh, I chose different dialogue. 
she didn't bitch out and go back in the house. I like new stuff that I haven't seen before. That's nice. I'll take it. So I have so I have uh this thing I have the videos rendering on my other laptop, and I just looked over and it was like frozen on the creepiest shit ever. I don't even get why. <laughs> it was like partially pixelated and glitch. So this freaking thing looked like a something straight out of a horror movie. All right. Hopefully I can still race him. I want to get that free thing that uh, that I've gotten before. That would be nice. It'd be clean. I'd be I'd be happy with that. If this game would ever load. The Beggle Buds Estate. Who the heck We've calls arrived. himself the Vegelbuds? My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Let's go. Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Chess, let's take Chestnut. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. You're about to get destroyed, homie. I'm about to tear this course up. Alright, let's go. Hey, yeah, let's go! Oh, damn, this is like a full race. They should have made it so you had to jump over that. I remember when I first did this race, I did jump over it. And I figured out that's not where you're supposed to go. The stupid thing is, their horses have like unlimited stamina. As soon as I run out, they catch up. Don't move it! Nope, 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 nope! Nope! I adore the speed, the rush of air! There we go, here we go. I'm pulling away. I'm pulling away! Where does he end? This dude's hot on my ass. I can go here it is. This is it. This is it. Yeah! Give me that W and give me your finest saddle, bitch. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Let's go. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. <clears throat> I like how she went from despising my guts in my first playthrough to we're just cool. We're chill in this, in this playthrough. Makes some sense. I'm Molly, my lord. 
Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his loot. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Okay, so she's talking about Priscilla. Um... I'm gonna talk to... I think I'm gonna talk to Rosa Var Otter next, Ah, I Geralt, think. there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. Yes. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. As soon as this gets done with the loading screen, I need to remember I need to uh, equip that saddle so I don't forget. Because inevitably I would just forget and then it reach the end of the game and I would still need to equip it. I do need to go and get a new silver sword because this crap that I'm using right now, this just, this just ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna work having level one silver sword throughout the game because you really need silver swords almost exclusively you do need steel every once in a while but you really need silver and um i'm rocking a level one silver and that's just that that's just not going to get the job done in the long run here so i need to find a way to get another a silver sword I guess I might have to craft one or whatever. But we'll, we'll wait and see. I don't know. I'm hoping I can find a... I don't, I'm trying to think of a blacksmith that sells weapons. Or the closest one is. Or the first one that I know of, I guess. I think the first one that's any good is the one in Skellige. But does he even sell weapons, or is he just armor? And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. I'm trying to think. Uh, Skellige the first... There's the guy that you can do the quest for in this game. Or in this city, but... 20 stamina... To, oh wow, that's a lot of stamina. Um, I 
guess let's go talk to Rosa Bar Otter. Oh, she's right here. Might as well sneak my way in since I know that's what you have to do. Okay, that's not. I went all the way around, didn't I, last time? There's like a. I guess why not try going the front? I mean, there's not a reason not to try at least going in the front door, see so if I can smooth talk my way in. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. Okay. I don't really- I think you have to sneak your way in, um, and this son of a bitch way that I got in last time. Come on, come on, come Wind's on, girl. Howling. Come on, no! No, I almost had it that time, holy sh- No, no, no! Son of a bitch! You fed. There we go. Champion. Finding that back entrance. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant, or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, Miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But, miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room, quickly. As you say, miss. Right, I hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. <laughs> Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Learn the ambassador. Follow me. Come on, homie. Open the door. Well, this is this is semi different, I guess, from what. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. in this entire city. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking f A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him. 
but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Come on, come closer. There we go. Stop launching and fight. There we go. Now my parries are working. Swords when you can barely handle one. Granted, you're quick. Okay, I need better camera angle than that in the corner. Stop flaunting and fight. Hit her with that strong attack. Who thought this would do this? Look at how bloody oh, she why is. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? <sighs> wow, talk about cheesing. The cheeser right here, Geralt of Rivia. The cheeser. Damn it! <laughs> if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Uh, uh, I don't really Can't want to. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. water all right so i'm guessing maybe i do have to talk to all of them uh i guess i'll go talk to guess i'll talk to barabella next because she is extremely close guess why not loot this stuff 
dried fruit, a water, right. pop a swallow. Alright, oh. where is Marabella? She's pretty close. I want it to be known that when I opened that door, she was not teaching class. She was standing around like an idiot. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come Mom? after all. Where are you? Not... A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd you get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? You don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Jesus creepers! Wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mom All right, there we go. Class is over. Go ahead and talk to her. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Yeah, thanks for nothing. What a waste of my time. Hey, level 8! Alright, time to talk to Illa Hall. Ellie Hall. The man woman. Get my beard shaved in there. But for now, we're rolling full beard. Merchants. Oh, what do you have? Wait. Oh. The actual merchant is inside. Not wearing pants. Yes, that makes some sense. And I can't. Ah, there we go. Greet. Type. Alright, what do you it. have to sell? Show me. What? 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 Ooh, a horse hides are worth something. Vials aren't. Those aren't. Neither are mugs. Bear hides really no. No. I guess, sort of. Wow, this shit's worth nothing. Ah, oh, pure silver was worth a little bit. Silver mug was. Old goat hide. Goblets. Alright. Ooh, Dwarven Spirits are worth a lot. So is that. Okay. Alright, 
that, that, that. Okay, just take all the rest of my stuff, I guess. Okay. See, I don't want to sell any of that. Um, you can have the saddle. And you can have my care more hand armor. Okay, I'm gonna sell the pants. Whatever. We don't need those. Fuck the pants. Okay. So long. Thanks for the money, bro. Why oh, you really can't steal anything from this guy. I'm just gonna finish up talking to everybody in this episode, so it'll be a little bit longer of an episode than I have been doing. What the hell? This stupid tracking is messed up, but it's gonna be a little bit longer than uh, my normal episodes that have been like a half an hour. That's what I've been shooting for. This one's probably gonna be closer to an hour, but that's fine. I just don't wanna really split it up at this point. There we go, good, the tracking is back to working correctly. If you're wondering if I'm sounding different, <laughs> a little bit different than normal, uh, I got a bloody nose during one of the cutscenes. My nose just started bleeding, so I have it plugged, so it will stop. Just an FYI if I sound a little weird. Gonna let me talk to this dude? No, I gotta freaking meditate. Ah, <sighs> why, game? This is a stupid glitch they need to patch. Let me just. It's so annoying. Don't make me have to rest to talk to people. That's just stupid. I'm a friend right, of Dandelion. I think it stopped bleeding, guys. Now. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Eliel. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. I don't know what if I have to do What you and Dandelion talk about? Well. He asked about anything in particular? Let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. All Thanks right. for your help, and uh, nice to meet to... you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. 
I don't need to talk. I don't need to find out why he dresses like that. I don't. I don't want to know. I honestly don't want to know. So we just went in like almost reverse order. <laughs> Although you just have to talk to all of them, I think. I think it just wants you to talk to all. So I'm gonna try to avoid the conflict coming up here. We'll see how this goes. I'll probably have to fight. I doubt I'm gonna be able to avoid it. Not good like that. I don't have my delusion level up, so if you need that to avoid this conflict, uh, well, not gonna happen. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! You get bitch slapped what in you the face. For, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Take this coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. Right, oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Gerald. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as the one in the same. An artist? Or a whore. Apparently Dandelion was seeing a Troberitz. A blonde, most likely. That's the one. Wait, what was that name? Kalanetta. Sounds like an artist, a foreigner, and a whore. Three in one. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. It would be nice if you'd stop by and give me the D, is what she's saying. She wants that dandelion penis. Hey. Hey, that works out extremely well. <laughs> Alright, Zoltan, let's consult. Oh my god, can I loot all this stuff again? Oh. This is the greatest day of... This is the greatest day of son of a bitch, man. I can't loot that. I've not even drunk a water. Oh not my god, are these infinite freaking spawns? Save a ray No, I don't know what, what's going on there. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna loot everything again, since it seems I can, and then we'll talk to Zoltan. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.